Hello everyone, Hal Jackie here, and welcome to part 8 of my playthrough of City Skylines. Uh, before I get started with anything, I wanted to do a cool little uh, view that I saw that really started to make the game look very immersive. So I'm just going to go... I think it was this road right here. And I did, I did play around with some sound settings as well to try and... Uh, get that to work a little better. So you can change your audio for all kinds of different things. So I won't make it too, too loud. But I was just kind of going down this road and it's really starting to make the game look very immersive. Oh, I'm to run into this thing here. I know, my city's starting to come alive. So I like that. Look at all the parked cars. That is one packed bus stop for sure. there's still quite a lot of land for me to develop. So, let's get to it. I kind of want to tackle that mountain over there. I wonder if it's within the uh, confines of my, my city grid, or if it's too far out there. I don't think I can get that far out, but you can definitely get across the edge of it over here. So that's interesting. Don't know where I should be building next. Um, I would assume that the natural growth would probably encompass up to the highway over here. So probably these two zones. That way I'm kind of all within this, uh, this river system here. So I think I'm going to purchase that. And this one as well. so I have some more uh, growth. Miniature black hole created in the Large Hadron Collider had scientists threw a coin in it reporting that science checks out. Hashtag Eureka! So I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get pretty excited. I know I'm already playing the game, but once the full game comes out, like, oh boy, it's gonna be fun. Look at that. I don't know, I just like it. And this is without any tilt shift. I'm gonna put some tilt shift on, just to give that effect. Um, it's I think it's in graphics, so let's go to like half the tilt shift. Kind of see it now. Things are slightly out of focus. Uh, get the camera mode off. I don't know. I'm not a guy who would typically use it, but let's put tilt shift to the max just to see what it does. Oh, do I have to hit apply? Maybe. I thought it kicked in. Yeah, this whole like spot here is phased. It's out of focus. It's just, I like things in focus. Like everything's out of focus with tilt shift. That's why I'm not a huge fan of it. But I mean, it does look nice for some screenshots and stuff. Like this is in focus and not. So let's. Oops. Kind of go back and see what it looks like there. to how I normally play with is no tilt shift. Yeah, I find that's just so much better because that way nothing is out of focus. Everything is clearly uh, shown graphically. I like this guy. He's got his own block. I didn't even know that. 
It reminds me of the house from uh, from Up, just a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Just trying to get immersed. This is a very odd intersection here. But it just shows that you can do a lot of creative work in this game. What is it? A six-way intersection? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. I can count. I know. It'd be nice to maybe have an option to put in a center turn lane. I know these... Median trees and stuff look nice, but I mean, if you live over here, you can't go down this road. Or you gotta go all the way around, maybe make a U turn or something. Like, oh, I just got on this motorbike. That's cool. It almost looked like a. I, I don't think I've ever seen that in a city building game. I can't think of one. There was actually an animation where he got on his bike. That was pretty cool. It's just those little things. Make it stand out. That is one packed bus stop. Also, random car. <laughs> Watch out, buddy. You don't hit anybody. And there's like a red team here and a blue team here. And there's also a green team there as well. Look at all the people. Lots and lots of people. This is the big intersection here. Kind of need to deal with that. That's what I kind of said I would do with this part. Is to put in one of the nice big six-lane one-way roads. And over here you have like the, the shopping district, I guess. At the end of the, the train station, which I don't know how much use it gets. At the most I got one. What's that city's railways there? got two, it doubled its use. I got two people using that train station now. Wonderful. Alright, so I have a congestion problem to tackle. I don't believe that these loop ramps will ever get used, at least in the current state of the game, so I can definitely gut those out and look into possibly uh, changing some stuff here. I'm thinking this will be a six lane one way and then I can upgrade this road to a six lane one way. So I'm going to put the, the simulation on pause in just a moment and uh, see what I can do. So here's pause. Now is it possible for me just to quickly convert this to a six lane one way? Hitting the upgrade? No, because I guess it doesn't really know what direction I'm going. Understandable. I mean, that makes sense. So I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, demolition here. That was a really nice ramp. Nobody has ever used this. I can definitely make this footprint a little bit smaller too, because I don't have a loop to go in. Just make it like a standard diamond air change, so I'll basically start kind of rebuilding this area. I might redo this ramp as well. But, uh... One step at a time, really. I think up to here, this will be the other direction. That's enough. What? 
What in the heck? <laughs> that's just that's just funny. So that's the six lane one, one way road. You have to go down the wrong way right now. Um, looks like you use two lanes in each direction to turn. Go straight if you wanted to. Now, build the for passes as well. So, page up. I build a little bit to the side. And then page down. Give me a nice, nice bridge connection here. down, then I'll build a curve. So I guess I should upgrade this part as well, since I a little bit further. Make sure that all the arrows are pointing in the right direction. I love that super wide road. You know what, while I'm at it, I may as well extend it up to like another major road on the other side of this cemetery. reason all six lanes turning right and then one that turns left and right I think goes straight though for some reason I don't understand that and somehow the bus station also kept the bus stop stayed there so I guess that's cool I wonder how they'll behave on a one-way road it might change the route a little bit it's be like wait I can't go that way seen some roads. I think it's in Burma? Myanmar? Whatever you call it now. It's It's got this like 20 lane road or something and like only like a thousand cars or something use it a day. Lanes, but 
Maybe one day it'll expand across the river. And then I can... Yeah, actually, I may as well just do that now. Let's see what kind of a bridge I can build. That's cool. It's a very low... Um, span, but... Sure, eventually it'll be uh, utilized. Not of money. Oh no! I only have one direction <laughs> completed. I might just have to wait a little bit and construct this a little bit at a time. I don't want to take out a loan because the traffic in the other direction is going to be like what? Hopefully, I'll get it done in time before people really get annoyed. Because there's no highway access here, there's no nothing. Okay. So note to self, don't build any bridges. Okay, I got a little bit more money now. So, the road here. Space already occupied. Can I fit this thing through here? I really hope I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, great. Bus stops on the right and the left side. Why not? Alright, I'm poor again. I'll run the simulation a bit more. At least there's somewhat, I guess there's really nothing connecting these right now. No, no, they're functioning, but not very well. I think I'll just keep the simulation running right now. While I continue to try and fix this up. You know what, maybe the loops will work now, because this road is divided. Huh. I really didn't think of that before. Alright, I have more money, so I'll pause it. I think the ramp was starting to get a little busy as well. Let's see how that works. I know the, the grading isn't the best. I really want to build an intersection here, though. good enough. Distance too short. How come I was able to do it the other way? There's a bit more of a gap, that's why. Okay. Maybe I'll have to just quickly curve it just a little bit. Oh wait, I'm still on the highway. are expensive. Okay, is that good enough? I guess that's good enough. It's 
easiest spot for it to be. That's what I want. That's not what I get. I guess that's okay. So the interchange has been kind of fixed up. And no little more loops though. Then over here I need to kind of reconnect these roads a bit. Just a little tiny gap there for people. I want to build this one straight. here that I can kind of rezone. And then there's this thing. Let's so kind of fix that up. to this bridge. This is a six lane road still. Oh, okay. I'll have to change that a bit. I'll double check everything to make sure all the lines are going the right way. Oh, I can't upgrade that road type. Okay. At least I get a refund for that. Don't line up, but whatever. I'm gonna build a real city. This is more of an experiment. I'll make sure that everything's properly uh, tweaked. So, do I have all the connections reestablished here? Yeah, I think so. I'm missing one. garbage problems. Ham looks a little bad. That's better. Alright, let me tend to the garbage. I think I just need another incinerator, so I'm gonna wait till I have enough money for that. I think it's 30,000 for the incinerator, right? Yeah. Shouldn't take too long. I'm making 5,000 a, a week now, so that's, that's good money. I want to eventually fix those uh, sewage plants as well. I just need to tend to that. Well, I don't know, but it shows that my incineration status is doing okay. But I mean, since I'm right here, I may as well build another one. Forgetting what that bird's called. It's not Twitter. It's Fletchy or I don't remember. Got a burned down building here. All right, and I can rezone these finally. Rezone.
know what, I'm just gonna do the paint tool. Or just the, the mass zone. Nah, that's quick. <laughs> that's much quicker than before. And yeah, this damn graveyard. Even with all these lanes, there's still some backup. Just goes to show you that you can't widen a road. The more you widen it, the more you'll need to widen it a little later on. This little branch here, I kind of want to put trees in it. So I'm going to probably de-zone these. I can make that industrial though. redo this road since I now have more room on this side uh... yeah that looks good these roads since I'm over here. Guess I keep that straight. I'll eventually build over there. So, go to zones, hit office, and then click, click, click the mass zone command. Okay, this can be offices too, why not? Everything in the middle here. I don't know. I can find a happy place. So I'm curious to see how that changed the traffic flow. So I still have a lot of red, but at least it's been dispersed a little bit on the different roads. So I mean, I got that going for me. This new road here is very heavily used. I might need to upgrade that. And this is already fully upgraded. So not really a whole lot I can do there. I did build a new overpass here to try and alleviate some of the congestion. Seems like it's working okay. And this is all pretty heavily used too. Okay. I should definitely build a rail bypass. I wanted to do that. I'm going to try again right now. Will I save for some more water pumps and education and stuff like that? So, transit. Trains. Even if it's just like a little bypass like that, I mean, it's better than nothing. It's a little bit of a track switch there, but I really don't care. So if you weren't, if you're the passenger train and you want to bypass the freight station, you can go that way now, or something. Show me my capacity for this, though. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like this train's already starting to go this way on the bypass. 
That way they don't need to go through there. So many people are using this station now. Still two. I guess this is the main station over here. Yeah, 117. Still not a whole lot of people. But I mean, it's something. Building a connection this way really doesn't do too much because remember, the line just kind of comes over here. So you may as well just take this connection here. I never did play tri uh, Train Simulator. Maybe one of these days I should play it. Because it looks like fun. And this exchange is still moving around pretty nicely. I didn't even notice that. There's a bit of a jog in the lanes here. And there's a building on fire. What's wrong with the sewers? Well, where's the f oh, the fire department's right there. It's a little late for that, though. Checking up my road, make sure everything is, all the arrows are pointing the right way. It'd be a nice road to drive on. And then I can pursue options to maybe upgrade it. I might go one block up. Yeah, I'll just do that. build another bridge crossing over here. Have this one-way road maybe jog over and come down this way. This guy's grumpy. Why are there so many grumpy people? So this road now goes from a four-lane road to a six-lane road for a little bit, and then uh, six lanes one way. I'll slow down the simulation. Not to a pause, but just normally to see how it works. That's a sharp turn way of that bus. I don't really understand why they're <laughs> five lanes. No, all six lanes turn right on that on, on this little road here. That's why it's marked like that. Everyone's ignoring the the lane markings though and going straight like they should. Should I make a crossroad here? Yeah. Yeah, I think I should link these two roads together. Definitely a lot of empty space, but I'm sure it'll all fill in. A big change. So the road's pretty empty here until you get to this intersection and people start uh, piling onto the road. Nice little square here. And right at the highway, things start to get a little more congested.
these buildings don't here. I guess if they want to build there, they can. And then things keep moving. These are all... Williams owns a lot of buildings. <laughs> Williams, Williams, Williams. And then we get over here to the other congested uh, road. This road... I don't know if I want to upgrade. But, uh, we'll see. This rail terminal is just so convenient that everybody wants to go there. All the hot dog deliveries and donut deliveries and bug spray deliveries. I love, I love how there's a tractor pulling a trailer, just going full speed down the road. Okay, let's follow the train. I want to follow the train. stop at that station. Only two people get up at that station a day. Nope, doesn't even stop there. It's just gone. It's like, nope. It's interesting to see my city from this angle. up here it just doesn't like the uh, all the different crossroads here thinks that there's too many intersections well it'd probably be right all right let's see if I can upgrade this to a four lane or probably even a six lane road with all the congestion here alleviate some of the congestion. I think I'll just make it four lanes. get over here, right? Now, do I have to rezone all this? Yeah, I guess so. Having another major road over here might help alleviate some of the congestion on this road. I'm thinking. At least just a bit. I've got a lot of money now. Maybe I can build that dam. How am I doing for power? Oh, that solar plant. Right. I'm good. But I wanted to build more education to get my, my sims better go to education. Um, it's actually not as bad as I thought for elementary schools, but I'm going to definitely build another one now that I have the funds to do so.
that's cool. My high schools need a lot more enrollment. Uh, just dump people over here. And they should probably build one over here. So my capacity is now 5,000, which is good. Need to pay attention to my budget. And the university, which I can barely fund, and it will take a lot of money uh, to run. I'll put kind of here. I should probably put on a major road. It's a tiny little university. Where is a good fit? She's somewhat of a large building. Okay. I'll put you here. I guess it doesn't range down here, but that gets most of the people happy. So now my high schools are good. My elementary schools are okay. Maybe I'll build one more elementary school. My income just took a huge hit with all this free education. So I'll definitely need to, to grow the city a bit more. I'm still in the plus, but uh, not much more. Actually, I'm in the red a little bit now. Nothing I can't handle. So there's no offices building here despite the demand. I'm going to change this into maybe commercial services. Just to pump some more money into my vein, into my coffers. Because I don't want to run a deficit for too long. Nobody wants to do that. Oh, I can build more stuff over here. Oh, that's excellent. All right, how about more people? Because I, I bought the next tile over, right? Yeah. These people, they keep dying. Stop dying. All right, back in the, now making four digits a week in profit. The more educated sims I have, though, I'm assuming that the, the wealthier they may become, and thus the more taxes they will pay. I think that's a somewhat safe assumption. The more, the more educated you are, the more you will typically make. Something like that, maybe? My population hasn't increased too, too much in this part. Um, let's see what kind of things are here. Statue of Shopping. Shopping is a wonderful thing! Looks like I have a bunch of rewards I can do. I also want to check out these district things, because I haven't really investigated that at all. Uh, where do I go for that again? So, can I make like a... The farming stuff I can do over here now that I purchased it. So I'm going to do some farming over here eventually. Generic industry. This, like this area. How do I? What do I do? Oh, this is like a removal. I don't know how this works. I need to like read the manual or something. Don't know. Making a healthy profit now. Four thousand. Education works just like that. So how are my demands here? Water's okay, garbage is okay, education. I might need another high school soon, because now people can go to university. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna build one of those soon. They're expensive though, so I can't really afford it right now. People are getting happier. Uh, the death care, I need more crematoriums. I gotta burn those bodies.
So how much is that? Oh, twenty-five thousand dollars. Jeez. You gotta burn those bodies, man. I need to study this up. I don't know what these values are showing me. Right now I just see RCI. I really don't see much else. Uh, wind. Seems like some of the wind, the wind does change a little bit because this used to be a highly windy area and now it's really nothing. The wind's kind of moved away to like over here. Traffic. Yes, I doubled up on the one-way roads to try and alleviate the stress. I built a three-lane off-ramp here. And doubled up the, the ramps here. So, I mean, I'm trying. This little road I could probably widen a bit. And then this road was supposed to take some of the stress off uh, this one here, but it doesn't look like it's doing its job too well. Maybe if I was to upgrade it a bit more, it might help a bit. Can't really do much here. Uh, oops. Stop demolishing stuff! So I'll try and put in a big six lane road here. straight. I'm blowing up a lot of stuff. I should probably upgrade this little tiny connection here. I don't want these to be zones. I just want these to be nice trees. Just so people can get through. Space is already occupied. Hang on, I gotta. I gotta do this right. Looks like it's too much of a jog. I'll get, I'll get it right. That's better.
of this up. Build another road over here. Uh, roads. Sure. It's a weird jog, but looks nice. And then I'll upgrade uh, six lanes up to here. Like that. Let's put it on super fast speed. Let's see if that helps out with some of the uh, traffic congestion woes here. stops really close together. I think they're for different lines though. The traffic coming off the highways is bad right now anyway. Seems like it's being managed. my new road helping. Looks like there are some people using it. Yeah, it's still in the red here, despite it being six lanes. <laughs> but at least it's taking some of the red off here. It's not as red, right? Oh, building burned down. I mean, that's better. Oh, lots of burned down buildings. So I have enough. I should probably build a crematorium to stop all these dead people from piling up. The capacity is still nowhere near it, where it needs to be, but at least I have a cemetery. Uh, cemetery usage. I need to get that up to uh, the yellow. I'll build one more. Maybe increase the funding of these a bit once I have that. budget. And I think it falls under health, so I'd be increasing the health coverage to about $8,000. So I'd take a, I'd be barely making money, but I think I should do that. Let's see how that affects me. a little bit of abandonment. My demand is kind of flat as well for everything. No water. Oh, because I didn't build any more pipes over there. It looks like I need to put in a new line. Just quickly there. Should help a bit. Need to find more ways to make my people happy. Because there's a lot of abandonment I see. What other more, uh, what other city policies can I do? I can. Heavy traffic ban.
I'm not gonna do a park ban. Park recreation. Let's see how much that affects me. Garbage is piling up. Do have recycling and education boost. Recreational use of controlled substances. Basically, I legalize weed. Hey, right, let's legalize weed. Alright, so I need uh, thirty thousand dollars to build another incineration plant. Wait, somebody doesn't like them. There was something about controlled substances. I saw a tweet for it. Build one of these things. I understand why people are complaining so much about garbage. My incineration status is great. I don't need anything. Doing fine. Making a crap load of money now. Seven thousand. Seven thousand six hundred. Right, let's do an education boost. That'll probably kill off some things. Six thousand two hundred. Looks like it's leveling off right around there though. Six thousand, five thousand. Five thousand five hundred, five thousand four hundred. Okay, so it's leveling out about there. If I want to make this place a truly socialist paradise, free public transport would be the thing to do, for sure. Alright, let's see what it does, see what affects me. I don't think I'd make a lot of money from fares right now. Yeah, it's about $4,500 now. And then... The power and water stuff's okay. I do want to replace these sewage pumps. So I'll do that and probably in the park because I'm getting close to an hour. Uh... So assuming that I have just enough... If these have the same capacity, I can get rid of my... Yeah, my sewage treatment's through the roof. So I can get rid of the old pipes. Yes, I do want to destroy it. Yeah, okay. So now it's the same as my water availability. So that's cool. I'm now starting to clean up. I can already see the river getting cleaner. Just a little bit, so that's great. Like there's trash here. I thought my incineration status was okay. Yeah, it's fine. Why don't you get your trash picked up? Oh, it's because there's no access over there. These people can't get over there. Okay, I'll make a quick little U-turn. This is a one-way road, right? Here, I'll just make a quick little temporary connection. In fact, that could even be one way. But now you'll have some trucks going around to make a U-turn to get uh, get some of their garbage. Yeah, there comes the garbage truck. They're like, I gotta get the garbage from these people. people needs to have a huge six-lane road and still have congestion on it. Like my city, I live in London, Ontario, in Canada, it has, uh, it's 
getting close to 400,000 people. And the largest road is, is six it's six lanes, like, combined, right? Three each way, and that's only for a few kilometers. Everything else is four lane, two lane. So. It's funny how a city less than a tenth of the size needs this big honking road and still have congestion on it. It seems like the population should be a lot larger than it is, but... You know, whatever. So I think that'll do it for me for the part. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't know what I'll be doing for the next part, but... I did purchase a lot more land over on this side, so... Maybe I'll build, uh... Something closer to the highway here. Kind of encroach development. What I want to do, basically, is... Build... Kind of, like, all the way around the river, I guess. I think that would be my plan. It's a good plan, right? I think it's a good plan. And then I can start building elsewhere. Alright, if you don't like that, I'll just get rid of that for now. Cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll see you back for the next one. Have a good one.